Good morning, everybody. This is Matt of Your Wildest Foods here out in my fiddlehead patch. And it is finally time. Let's have a look at these beautiful little plants. There's one. There's one. There's one. And 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 there's a really nice one. And there's another nice one. And there. And there's my bag. And they're all over the place. And so I'm here to do do three things with you. First of all, let's have let's have a few seconds of just appreciating and admiring these guys. They are so beautiful. Look at them. They come up so bright green, uh, beautifully curly. Um, just a just a gorgeous fern. It's the ostrich fern, which uh, is the fiddleheads that we eat. Um, and I I just can't get enough of looking at them. But anyways, um, that was the first thing. The second thing is to tell you that uh, while I'll be picking these guys, uh, that means I'll be making them available to you. So if you'd like some, uh, you know how to get a hold of me. Uh, just send me an email, yourwildestfoods at gmail.com, or go to the website, or whatever you'd like to do. Uh, and the third thing that I'd like to show you is a brief identification. If you would like to uh, feel a little bit informed about um, identifying these guys for yourself, uh, if you come across them. So, the first important thing is, look at this. This is the plant here, the, the organism, and here are the young shoots coming out, and they all come out of one spot, one cluster. This, this shows it really well. When they're young, you can see them all kind of folded in in a pattern, um, and it's just one, like you could, you could do that. They're all coming out of there. They're not branching off, and like this is an entirely separate plant, um, which has uh, been propagated by the, the parent plant here, I'm sure, because uh, that's how they spread. Um, so that is feature number one. Feature number two is this stuff. Um, it's the husk that, uh, if we can get a really young one here, I'm not sure if there is. Uh, anyways, so when they start to unfold like this, they're covered in this papery husk, and as they grow up, it just comes right off, falls right off, and leaves you with a perfectly clean, delicious fern, fiddlehead. Um, so that stuff is uh, is the second thing to look for. And uh, the third thing, uh, when you're harvesting, by the way, you can just kind of break them right there, and that part is all good to eat. Uh, the third thing to look for is this groove here, this deep channel down the center of it sort of U-shaped, um, and that will uh, separate them from some other ferns which have a much more shallow channel to them. Um, the fourth, I actually don't see any around here, unfortunately. Um, some some plants of the, the ostrich fern, not every single one, will have what's called a fertile frond. Uh, oh, here's one. Let's go over here. We'll have this guy. So even when the see this the the this year's fiddlehead uh, uh, fiddleheads haven't actually spread it out yet, but this is from last year, and it will last right through the winter. That's what it releases its spores on for uh, uh, reproduction. So you can look for those. They're sort of like flags that you'll be able to spot from far away because they stick up all all uh, tall in the in the woods amongst the other plants. Um, so those are three important features, and in contrast, I'll show you the lady fern, which is just over here. There's a, they're usually a little bit later, so there's not much coming up for them right now, but I did see this. So this is a very common, uh, here in BC, the lady fern, um, and it's not the one we usually eat. Some people eat it, uh, I, I never do. It's, I find it inferior, um. And so it has, instead of husk uh, around it that will kind of fall off, it has these papery scales that wrap all the way around and they're attached all along the fern. So if you were to try to eat it, you would have to peel these bitter things off all the way down. It'd be 
quite a nuisance. Um, they're not they're not as as vibrantly green as the, the ostrich fern here. They they will get as big as the ostrich fern fiddleheads. Um, these are just some small ones, but they also if we pick this, they don't have that uh, that U-shaped channel that the ostrich fern has there. Sorry about the blurriness here. Um, so that's important to look for, and I know this is a small one, so we don't see this, but they will sprout out of uh, multiple areas all along the organism here. Oh, well, yeah. I don't know. They'll have a big sort of a cluster, and they can grow here, 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 and so it's not as much of a tightly packed uh, clump of them growing. And they obviously do not have uh, fertile fronds. They'll release their spore from the underside of every every frond later in the year. So that's identification. A uh, quick run through, and I'm gonna get picking them. When you're when you're harvesting them, you just you just go. You you don't take every single one. Maybe you know that one, that one. And that one, or something like that. Uh, leave the plant with something to grow. They will grow more as well, but uh, you don't want to damage them. And yeah, we'll just go along and do that, and the, the plants will be totally fine. Um, they can bear a little bit of harvesting, and um, we'll have hopefully a nice product, nice bucket of fiddleheads before too long. Well, that's about everything. It's been a long video. Sorry about that. Have a great day, everyone.